Hey guys, it's John V here with Phone Arena. So we know MWC is right around the corner. I'm preparing for it and we should hear some exciting news from a bunch of different manufacturers. Much like any other major trade show we cover, there's a lot of preparation needed. Of course, for me, that means having all the best gear with me, whether that's the camera, the smartphones, and all the other essentials. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what's in my bag for Mobile World Congress 2018. Although I will tell you that I'm going to travel as light as possible just because I injured my foot recently. So carrying a heavy load is kind of out of the question. So I'm going to try to keep it as light as possible. First up, I'm going to be talking about the backpack that I'll be using, and that's the Book Slim Pack. Now, this isn't new for me because I've used this on several trade shows. I think I've had it for a couple of years now, and I absolutely love it because of its compact size and also its stylish design. On top of that, it's meant to be more of a camera backpack first and foremost because you can adjust the compartments inside so you can fit lens, cameras, and everything else. There's also a spot for a monopod, which I like on the back, but the thing about it is that it's really tiny, so it means that you can't bring a full-size laptop, usually anything more than 13 inches. And because of that, I'm gonna be bringing the Huawei MateBook tablet. This is the first generation one. I've been using it for over a year now, and I like it because yes, it is compact. It could fit inside my backpack, but it's still pretty useful because not only is it pretty light, which helps with my foot, but on top of that, I could still get some work done. I could type up some news posts. I could also edit some video. Although my video production is gonna be limited to 1080p, I really can't use 4K footage for editing because it kind of crawls with that. But for everything else, it's not that bad. Usually for trade shows like this, I bring my Panasonic G85, a micro four thirds camera and a couple of lens. But seeing that I'm gonna travel as light as possible, I'm gonna go with the Panasonic Lumix LX10. It has a compact design, which I love. It's really lightweight, but it's still quite versatile because it does feature a flip out screen. So if I wanna shoot some over the shoulder stuff and see what's going on, I could do that. It shoots 4K and has a really impressive lens on there. It's a fixed one inch, 20 megapixel sensor and has a 24 to 72 millimeter F 1.4 to F 2.8 lens. I own several monopods, but for the show, I'm gonna go with my lightest one and that's the Benro Carbon Fiber 4 Series monopod. I like it because yes, it is light. It's not as heavy as my Suri monopod that I traditionally use. The feet though isn't the most stable for heavier cameras. I really wouldn't recommend it, but seeing that I'm gonna be using the Panasonic Lumix LX10, really lightweight, it could definitely support that without having to worry about it toppling over. The video head I'll be using with the monopod is this one from Fancier. It's made by different other manufacturers, but this model is the FT717AH fluid head. I like it because it's really compact, not too heavy, not as large as some of my Benro fluid heads that I have at home. And it still manages to produce some nice tilts and pans, very smooth. You can adjust the intensity of the uh, tilting shot. The panning is not really adjustable, but it's still really smooth. Seeing that this is the biggest show in mobile, I'm bringing quite a few smartphones with me, but the main one I'll be using here is the LG V30. For starters, it's unlocked, so I could use it overseas. Number two, it's great for video. It does great for a backup. You have that wide angle lens and those manual video controls, which are handy. And third of all, it has a headphone jack. So when I'm in the plane, I wanna to listen to music or watch a movie, I could still use my headphones with it. The second smartphone I'll be bringing is the Apple iPhone 10. It shouldn't be surprised. It's a backup to the LG V30. And since it's the latest and greatest iPhone, it just makes sense to bring it. But I mostly bring it along with me on trips just because I use iMessage a lot. And the last smartphone I'll be bringing with me is the Google Pixel 2 XL. Now, obviously I have two other phones with me. Why this one? Partly because it is a Project Fi enabled smartphone. I am a Project Fi subscriber. So that's great being able to use a smartphone like this. So I'll have data as soon as I land in Barcelona and I don't have to worry about constantly switching SIM cards. And oh yeah, it has a pretty good camera too. As for audio recording solutions, I'm bringing a couple with me. And the first one here is the Rode Video Mic Me directional microphone. It's meant to be used with smartphones. It's attached via the headphone jack. And I've been happy with the performance. I've used it on a couple of phones. It does a good job of isolating audio in front of it while also minimizing any of the other ambient sounds around me. And the other one I'll be using here is the Rode Smart Lab Plus lavalier microphone. I'll probably be using this one the majority of the time just because I use it a lot for voiceovers and it's really good at picking up audio because it's very close to the source. 
Now onto headphones. The first one I'll be bringing here is the Braggy Dash Pro True Wireless Earbuds. I reviewed it recently and I'm really satisfied with the performance. Really good audio. It's a true wireless solution. I also like it that it has no latency issues for watching video. So the audio is in sync and also has a bunch of very cool features like this real time translation feature where someone's talking to you in a different language and it'll automatically will translate that for you. And the second pair I'll be bringing is the Vmoto Forza Metallo headphones. These have superb audio quality. And for me, I'm gonna be using it most of the time when I'm in the press room, when I have to listen to some of my voiceovers or something else on my PC. So rather than distracting people, I can just pop this into the headphone jack on my tablet and just listen to the audio privately. I like bringing along the Polar Pro Tripler 4-in-1 tripod just because it's really versatile. Yes, it is a selfie stick by default, but it's more than that because it can accommodate my smartphones and even my camera with its weight. But the uh, grip itself also doubles as a tripod feet, so you can lay it on flat surfaces just to have some different perspective shots. I'm not a fan of using the trackpad on my tablet. That's why I'm bringing this very inexpensive Bluetooth mouse. This one comes from the company Gearhead. It's simple, straightforward. It uses only one AA battery. And if you don't have Bluetooth, you could also use the wireless adapter that's tucked away inside of it. For the last couple of years, I've been using this battery bank from Oki. It's a 15,000 milliamp hour one, which features also Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0. Nothing really fancy about this one either. I like it for the fact that yes, I could charge my devices on the go, but it's not as big as some battery banks. It's pretty slim and it fits into one of the pockets in my backpack without any issues. You might be wondering what this is, but the Velo CB600 straight flash bracket has a lot of practical uses when I'm on the road. For starters, I can attach my camera on one side and on the other, let's say for example, I'm in a dimly lit area, I'm trying to shoot a video for the smartphone. I can attach my smartphone to it also have audio recording and I could use it as basically a light source. So there's a lot of different things I could do with it. Since there's only one USB type C port on the Huawei Matebook, I could expand that with this Samsung USB-C multi-port adapter. It's slim, it's tiny, it's a lot smaller than the adapter that comes with the Huawei Matebook. And of course I get a full size USB. I also have an HDMI out. So if I wanted to show video, something from my tablet, I could do that and it could also work with my smartphones. And the last thing I'm gonna bring here is this universal travel adapter and surge protector. Nothing fancy about this. You need this when you're traveling overseas because you won't be able to use any of your other devices without this because you can't charge anything just because of the different outlets they use. So this is something you definitely want in your bag. And that's everything that I'll be bringing with me for this trip. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy that I managed to pack very light it's gonna help out my foot and walking and everything else. So if you guys wanna learn more about any of the stuff I talked about in this video, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. This is John V. I'll see you soon in Barcelona.